Hello Leo and welcome to the weekly love reading for couples from the 27th to the 6th of March. Now Leo, I have pre-shuffled your cards, I'm ready to go. Before I get into your reading, um, in terms of astrology we have Mercury going retrograde on the 5th or the 6th depending on where you're located in the world, so just bear that in mind. Um, Mercury rules communication and all things that are to do with electronics, um, so travel plans could be skewed, um, anything to do with your phones, um, that kind of thing. Like just, it's not the ideal time to start anything new, okay? It's a period of reflection and revision. But let's get stuck into your reading. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Prince of Cups. Now, the Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups is usually an offer, right? It's usually someone coming in to make an offer. Depending on what cards are around, it can sometimes be as the proposal card, be seen as the proposal card, right? So someone coming in to make a proposal. But to be honest, I, I don't see that with the cards around it. I, I see it actually as more like a peace offering. What I'm really seeing for you guys here this week in terms of your couple is a little bit of a power struggle. And I'll show you why. Because right straight away at your spread, you've got the Emperor and the Empress, right? Which is my power couple. But in the middle, I've got the card of Temperance of needing to find balance. So um, immediately I'm like, okay, what's going on here? followed by the moon, so things that are hidden in, in terms of illusion. So whoever's the divine feminine energy in this kind of relationship or connection is kind of withholding how they're truly feeling. Because underneath the emperor, you've got the ace of swords, someone trying to speak their truth. So um, straight away, I feel like as if this week, there's, like I said, a power struggle between you and your partner. Like, I feel like maybe both of you are quite excelling in your careers at the moment, or maybe your partner uh, has gone back to work because this can sometimes mean like either having a delay in work or, or after having a child going back to work, or um, it can also mean for me this kind of combination because you've got the queen of cups underneath it in the reverse. So this is a, like a you know, the Queen of Cups in the upright is like a really nurturing, beautiful woman in the reverse. I see it as quite a catty kind of almost snarky, bitchy kind of woman. Um, so someone who's out of her comfort zone, right? And Leo, the Emperor could be representing you. It is fire, it is air, and the Empress does typically represent the sign of Taurus. But signs are irrelevant. It's more energy of what I'm re reading and what I'm feeling. And I feel like it's a power struggle between you and your partner because I feel like either she or he has gone back to work and now you're trying to find the balance of, of domestic life. What's interesting is that you have the... Um, the knight of swords at the center of the reading right so this for me is all about um fast moving action really coming in to try and make something clear and it's it's interesting because you have the ace of swords so the, the card of clarity the knight of swords so moving swiftly on that information on that clarity of whatever it is that's coming to light but then you have this dissatisfied queen of cups um, and it's right underneath the Empress. So if it's not your partner, Leo, then it could very well be um, your mother or it could be um, the mother of your child that you're now separated from and you have a new relationship with the Taurus and something's going on or the dynamics changed in some way. Um, and you're trying to find the balance between, you know, a ha happy home life and also what you're putting and creating out into the world. As you get like into next week, as I said, you've got the Empress coupled with the moon. So this is usually a card of creation, of bringing new things in. And this for me is a card of like, um, how can I explain this? It's a card of illusion and things not being able to be seen clearly. What's interesting is that I've talked a lot about Mercury retrograde, but we also have a new moon on the 6th. So um, in the sign of Pisces, and this, this card does represent Pisces. So maybe it's showing that things are heightened for you as you're getting to that new moon. I really feel like for you though, Leo, this is going to be a week of trying to find the balance between you and your partner and finding that harmony again so that you can uh, live a more comfortable life. Yeah, interesting. Um, so the card that's come up as your Oracle Extra Advice card is Co-Create. So maybe you and your partner are in business together. Maybe you have a business together and it's all about creating a different path of where you're going. Um, the key words of this card are creativity, which if you haven't seen the Leo annual forecast, I speak about creation and creativity um, in a great deal. It's also about um, inspiration and manifestation, okay? So it's bringing something to light. 
and I'll read it for you. It says, connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come, on, come to on your own. You're looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your heart is a unique work of art now of the very embodiment of beauty. So in terms of the relationship, this is what I mean by having the clarity and speaking your truth and this fast moving energy. It's like someone's kind of been um, either keeping back how they feel or maybe they've been holding back about what they want when it comes to work and what they're doing in the world. Um, and now I really do feel like it's potentially someone who's the mother of your child or the, the female in the relationship or the feminine energy in the relationship and they've either been the house kind of husband or wife and now they're having to go back into the workforce and that person that was quite the, the rock of the family um, who was doing it all is no longer doing it all and things are in a little bit of chaos. So my advice to you this week is um, keep going, keep at it, be very clear with your communication, as clear as you can with Mercury retrograde and you're in the shadow period, things are going to go a little bit haywire, um, but you are moving on to something that's a little bit more of a smoother energy as you go into next week. All right, Leo, that was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.